Well, for five days now, hundreds of millions of gallons of that wastewater have been pumped into Tampa Bay. But a lot of people still wondering, what's in the water? Could it be dangerous? Uh, Jeff Patterson touching on it a bit a moment ago, but 800 Inside Investigator Masa Saidi is also here looking into this. So Keith and Stacy, we are told the drinking water in this area is being checked and it's safe. But as the state pumps all that water into Tampa Bay, we asked an expert if we should be worried about what could happen as a result. From above, you can see the breach at the Piney Point Phosphate Retention Pond. Contaminated water that was sitting in a stack of solid fertilizer byproduct called gypsum pouring out Tuesday. Now, as hundreds of millions of gallons from the pond are pumped into Tampa Bay, Aid on Your Side wants to know what's in the water and can it harm you? You're saying this water is not ready to be returned to the environment. Right. It's got too much phosphorus, too much nitrogen in it. The water contains phosphorus, nitrogen, sulfuric acid, and small amounts of heavy metals. That's according to USF geochemistry professor Matthew Pasek. These chemicals are the byproducts that come from making fertilizer. For years, Pasek says, salt water has been added to decrease the toxicity of the pond, but the leak happened before the water was safe to return to the environment. The worst case scenario would probably be algal blooms across the surface of Tampa Bay and a bloom of red tide as well. The fish will suffocate, the water will smell bad, it'll turn green. Uh, fish that people use for fishing also become toxic and inedible. Why pump the water? Well, it's the best way to prevent a catastrophic breach and flood. While the gypsum that holds the water is radioactive, containing small amounts of naturally occurring radium and uranium, Pasek says this breach is unlikely to impact the drinking water in the area. This is water that's in contact with radioactive material, but it is not uh, radioactive in the sense that we need to worry. So some good news there. Now federal and state officials say they will be monitoring the water quality in the area, and so will we. Keith. Well, some good information. Thank you, Masi.